Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for today. It's November 15th, so the 15th into the 16th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Remember, this is not a private reading. It may not be for you. It might be, but it's for somebody. I don't even know who. This is just an energy I'm picking up on today. But you also have to keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Sometimes these daily vibes don't resonate for days. Ooh, undesirable message brought to you from Soul Source Tarot. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, so you may be receiving some sort of message that you don't want to hear. And if that's the case, you might want to click off now. Just kidding, just kidding. Anyhow, um, but you can, feel free. But anyway, this is a message you don't want to hear. You may re be receiving, you know, communication from somebody who is a menace or a gossiper or... <sighs> is just upset you know and this this communication may may be the truth or it may not be we're gonna get some more cards I mean sometimes this person is telling the truth the cold hard truth so sometimes he's a blatant liar just trying to cause trouble so you're gonna have to really pay attention here Ooh. interesting something is kind of stalled or something mm. now this is this could be a family feud this could be a family member that is telling you something and it causes even a fight a family feud you know just saying it could be and we have some reckless behavior here so somebody may have acted recklessly or they may be acting recklessly maybe somebody did something that they shouldn't have done hmm and now now you're hearing about it and you could be, could cause a fight at home or an argument at home or some instability at home, whatever it is. It's not, this could even be moving out, you know. You know, and this is a very lusty night, okay. So now, you know, somebody took action impulsively and now somebody heard about it and they're spilling the beans. I mean, just... Be careful. Be careful. There's definitely a love connection here. And this person um, is probably not the one you're with or somebody new. Okay? Because when the lover's card comes up, it's usually a choice between two paths. And somebody may have, you know, ventured off the path and acted recklessly. And now there's some trouble because of it. Just... And eventually the truth comes out right so beware you could be dealing with a Gemini Aries Leo Sagittarius Aquarius Libra definitely have Gemini here pretty prominently Taurus Virgo Capricorn and there's a choice between two there is a choice between two, and somebody has been juggling. Even if they haven't been juggling physically, they've been juggling as whether to stay or go. 
And there isn't, it's like, we have options here. One of these options is the right option. But the rest of them are not. And you have to choose wisely. And it looks as though we have somebody here that has all the power right in their hands. And I think it's this person. Somebody has the power and they're probably going to use it. So be prepared for if there's been any deception or there's been some lies or there's been some impulsive behavior and it's been hidden, be prepared for it to probably be revealed by somebody who cannot hold their tongue. News travels fast and if somebody, you know, got pissed because they didn't get chosen, you know, they tell somebody and that person tells the next one and before you know it, it gets back home and the shit hits the fan. So it looks as though we do have a completion here that is needed. It is, okay? We have a, we have a, um, ending that needs to happen. And there's a lesson to be learned in this. The world card is a lesson has been learned about reckless behavior, perhaps, for acting impulsively, for choosing, making the wrong choice. Yeah, we learn from that shit, don't we? Anyhow, um, now we have an opportunity here for love in a new direction, but you have to choose wisely and you have to take that step over the finish line and deal with whatever consequence. This is a card of consequence of your choice. So there is definitely consequences here for impulsive action. That's what this is about. Action has already been taken and now it's time to pay the piper. And I think that whatever has happened, it does involve uh, perhaps a love affair you know, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like now, you know, because there has been no action taken, it's like, now it's like this is a universe card. The universe says, okay, it's time to deal with this. It's time to complete this cycle. Even if it means that you have to face undesirable um, consequences for your choice. Okay. We have somebody here that is afraid to take a leap of faith and leave the stable situation that they're in even though there's no love. Okay, it's stable and it's secure. It is, but there's no love. And there's an opportunity for love in a new direction, but they're going to have to take steps and perhaps move out of the situation that they're in and make some compromises and maybe even lose some of that financial stability. You know what I mean? And I think the only reason that somebody is staying wherever they're at is because of the financial, the assets. Maybe even it's the home, but it's the, it's the, the, one of the life's lessons is choosing love over money. Okay. That's one of life lessons. Love should be number one, but so many people are so asleep that they really don't realize that and they will continue to suffer because they don't choose the love. They choose the money. They choose the job. They choose everything but love and they think, they think that money buys happiness, but in all reality, money does not buy happiness and you can pretend until you go to the grave and you die alone and nobody is standing there with you. Nobody gives a shit because all you cared about was the money. And the people that are standing there are the ones that want your money. So, you really should follow your heart. 
because we have a connection here that is so beautiful. I mean, there's a love connection here where two people are meant to be. And this is like Cupid's arrow. It's like Cupid has brought these two people together. And now somebody has to take that step and allow love to be number one instead of the money. And that's what this is. This is love versus money. It is. Love versus assets. Love versus home. Love versus stability and security. This is what this is. There's a choice between love or assets. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. And this is a lesson. It is absolutely a lesson. It's a life lesson. It's a big lesson with the world card. A major lesson. Somebody has been naive thinking that you know, this stability is all what, that's all that it is. That's, that's where it's at. But now we have somebody that has the resources and has the power to make a change. It's like you're being given the power right now, right now to choose Choose wisely. These are both cards of consequences. Choose wisely. Do you want all the stuff? Or do you want real love? What's it going to be? So we, we have somebody here that is afraid to take action. And it's like the universe has found a... <laughs> Oh, what's the word for it? Scapegoat. To push you in a new direction. It's like the universe has found this person who can't keep their mouth shut to push you in that new direction because you've been stalling. And they know that deep down you want this true love. But the greed is hindering it. And now they're, they're going to put that power back in your hands. You have the opportunity to take action, to bring success, to bring happiness, to bring whatever you want, everything to your life, the whole package. You have the power. Unfortunately, it's going to take a... problem child to start this process so but you know we got to have those people we got to have the, the, those people are in our circle for a reason right they are they are so I feel like today is a day of making a choice between two paths and you are probably faced with making this choice unexpectedly. All of a sudden, there's some sort of information that comes in or revelation or truth that comes out that forces somebody to take a step. This is about, the magician is about shedding the old, finding this, finding the, the strength, the courage, the self-respect, the self-love, the determination, everything. Finding whatever it takes to bring success to your life in all aspects, not just the financial stability arena. But the magician has to shed his old skin.
There's an opportunity for happiness when you step over this finish line and let the, the, the old life that you have lived end. That's what this is. There's extreme happiness with this new connection. This, this love that you know you have with another person. And if you are single and this person hasn't come in, it's right around the corner. You have to be assertive. You have to look at things from a new perspective and you have to be honest and fair and just with everybody involved. So I feel like today is making an honest choice in regards to love versus money or stability or security. Somebody has made the wrong decision to stay someplace where there's no love and there is an opportunity for love right around the corner waiting for you with a perfect connection, beautiful. Where you can absolutely be yourself and not have to pretend to be anything. But you have to make that choice. You have to take the power in your hands and probably cut somebody else out of your life. Because right now, you are being given the power to start a new life. With the love of your life. But you have to take that step in the new direction. Somebody has been holding on and now it's time to release the obsession to money assets you can't take that shit with you and when you die you want the one that you love with you not the people that just want your money You are being given the power to make the choice at this time. Because there's probably going to be some sort of conflict that comes about that puts that power right in your hands. Choose wisely. Seriously. Because there will be consequences for making the wrong choice. I feel like there is a new love connection here that is begging you to take it. Maybe you've been buried in your work, buried in your job, and you're not giving this person time. I don't know. Maybe you're involved in the wrong relationship and you know it. It's a lie. Either way, the universe is at work here and they are pushing for a change. We have a, a person, two people, that are meant to be together. 
but someone is going to have to make the decision to speak their truth and choose love. <laughs> There's happiness here. Happiness coming. <clears throat> Sorry. But someone's not making the right decision. They're not making the right di decision by staying where the money's at, where the assets are. They're not making the, the right decision. Therefore, they will have to pay that price. You know, they're going to... suffer they will suffer they will suffer yeah they may have money but they won't have love the love is over here the love is outside it's not where the money is at the love is over here crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing it truly is. It's time to cross that bridge. Absolutely. Cross that bridge. Walk. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. And this is what we need to do. A heartfelt change is ahead. Heartfelt. Did you hear that? A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn the bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help others traverse bridges in their lives. You have the power to start over right now and start a new life. Let go of the past. Let go of what you, what you once knew. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. And that's the truth. I'm, I'm telling you what. You are ready to cross a bridge in your life. There are times to step away from certain people and situations there are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places, and then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. No joke. No joke. Okay? Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive and let it go. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a reason or a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. I read that again. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. Right now, the power is in your hands. You know what you need to do. The love of your life is waiting. Good luck. 